People who have had a brain injury may experience communication changes. These changes often appear as a change in personality, confusion, or forgetfulness. People who experience such difficulties may be diagnosed with a cognitive communication disorder. It is important to know that a cognitive communication disorder is a result of a person's medical condition and not a part of normal ageing. A cognitive communication disorder is diagnosed when a person's communication difficulties are due to an underlying impairment to cognition such as memory or attention difficulties. It is different from communication difficulties due to a language or speech impairment. It can happen as a result of illnesses such as stroke, traumatic brain injury, Parkinson's disease, and dementia. A person with a cognitive communication disorder may forget information easily, lose track of dates and times, need more time to think, have difficulties multitasking, lose attention quickly, be overly talkative or very quiet, say inappropriate things, have less awareness of their own difficulties. There are some ways that we can support people with cognitive communication disorders. Minimize distractions. Lisa, shall I off the video? Let's off the video, shall we? Get the person's attention before starting a conversation. Please start looking here. Use simpler, shorter sentences. We are going to the doctor today. Oh, what time? I have it here on the iPad, Lisa, looking here. Can you find it? Wait for a response after asking a question. Oh, it's at 2 o'clock. That's right. We will leave the house, Lisa. We will leave the house at 1pm to make it there on time. Okay? I'll write the steps down. Break down tasks into smaller steps. We will have lunch early at 12pm. Okay, Lisa? Looking here, Lisa. Okay? And then we will pack our bag. Lisa, looking here. Okay, and then we will take bus 197 to the hospital. Okay? Seeking help. There is plenty we can do to support someone with a cognitive communication disorder. If someone you know is having communication difficulties, speak to a doctor to get referred to a speech therapist 